Welcome, everybody, to JSA TV Live. We are live streaming from uh, from Antibes, guys. This is the wonderful newsroom of, for telecom and data center professionals, JSA TV Live. Today, we are speaking with investors, data center platform owners, and energy specialists as they converge right here at Platform Congress along the French Riviera. Woohoo! All right, guys, I'm Jamie Scott Okataya. Joining me today is my friend, Thierry Chamayou. He is the Vice President of Cloud and Service Providers in the MEA here for Schneider Electric. Thierry, welcome to JSA TV Live. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure for me to be with you today, really, truly. And as you said, beautiful place out here where to be on top of everything. The French Riviera, can you beat this location? No. Nah. No, and gorgeous September weather. Uh, literally um, the, the, the heart of the world. We're right here. Um, so also we should mention you were the very opening speaker today at Platform Congress, uh, really setting the pace for the event. Can you tell us what are the key points you hope uh, attendees walked away with today? Well, um, you, you said it. It's very interesting actually to be, uh, to be the, the keynote speaker and, and opening that, uh, that, that platform event. Um, because you're always, you know, figure, trying to figure out whether uh, you're going to be making the point or, or are you going to be clear enough? Yeah. Uh, are people ready to hear you, what you're saying? Because, you know, we've, we've all enjoyed a very nice dinner the night before. Yeah, um, care of Schneider. So, <laughs> <laughs> so no, in, in, in all fairness, um, uh, what, what was important for us to share was, again, you know, the fact that um, in, in Schneider Electric, what we are extremely proud of is um, the fact we're, that we're a growing tech company, um, that that our commitment to sustainability is uh, is paramount and not to be proven, um, because that's something that we have started, you know, uh, more than 20 years ago, um, and and it's all about you know sharing what we've been through, what we see, how we anticipate that should be the new trends. We're all clear about you know what has to be happening and how you know definitely you know focus we have to be on on the climate change and, and do the appropriate and necessary measure um so yeah so i was very happy to to take the audience through what is super important and at the very heart of schneider electric as i said you know i mean uh, we, we look at it in a very holistic uh, way of it and it's it's very much in our dna yeah uh, absolutely schneider electric uh, the DNA uh, core values absolutely lives with sustainability. Um, so, what are you most looking forward to this week at Platform Congress? I <clears throat> I tend to say that a good day for me is when uh, uh, I get to bed a bit less silly than the way I woke up in the first mor in the first <laughs> place in the morning. So, I like learning. That. Yes. I think that uh, learning is uh, is the most important thing, um, and learning not for keeping it, learning for sharing it. So. Uh, my, my, my ambition, my obsession for this week is, is to understand, see, feel what others have gone through and for me to share 100% that what, we are, what, what we're doing, what we've been doing and what we're, uh, we're actually putting in place for, for the future. So that sharing, that cross-knowledge sharing, um, that open platform that we've, uh, we've talked about, uh, yeah. And such an international stage as well. It's, it's uh, really quite the audience look, here. Like, look, you're right. The world is here. Mm -hmm. I was chatting with uh, with a friend of mine, longtime friend from South Africa. Now is is flying back and forth between the U.S. and South Africa. I've seen people from you know like you know Northern Europe, Eastern Europe, Middle East, you name it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, just later today, in a couple of uh, interviews later, we'll have the chairman of IX Africa joining us as a further further example of of uh, this international congress here today. Now, there's a lot of talk on sustainability efforts within the industry. Of course, a topic, like we mentioned, core to Schneider's yeah. uh, business. Schneider's ha outlined uh, a concrete, ambitious targets for sustainable impact in support of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Can you tell us a little bit more about this program and your company's uh, in involvement? Uh, absolutely. Um, so let me bounce back, baby, on, on, on something that I, you know, shared and introduced um, this morning during the presentation. So uh, you were there, so you heard it. So, but I think that for, uh, for the people listening and watching us today, I think it's very important. Um, the, the, from the outset, when, when Schneider has been embarking into uh, sustainability, uh, for us, we've, we've made um, absolutely zero space for debate on whether uh, we should articulate that in a manner 
that is going to be um, a kind of a, a private, um, very linked to what Schneider does and does only. So mm -hmm. the only way that we could have something which is going to be really impactful uh, is to take essentially a size-based target, uh, is to, to take on everything that, you know, the, as you rightly said, the, the uh, sustainable development goals that United Nations has, has put forward and embrace them. So, I mean, those, those six, you know, elements is 100% part of our strategy. Mm -hmm. The way we look at that strategy, by the way, is very simple or difficult, the one you want to play it. But I, we do believe it's very simple. It's, it's, it's lead by example. So it's our CEO who's actually driving it from the very top of the organization and is making sure that it percolates down into the entire organization. And, and just to make sure that, you know, we're, we're having at any given time a local feel and a local implementation implication to the community, we have divided those six, you know, major uh, uh, commitment into a, a set of uh, 11 plus one. The plus one is actually the local goal that we have into what we call internally the Schneider uh, sustainability impact. And where we start, you know, measuring um, again, on sites-based targets, uh, what, what we're doing, how we're doing. And this is not l only limited to the CO2 emotion. We're, we're talking about, you know, the water and wa the, the wastewater. We're talking about, you know, uh, um, giving a chance uh, uh, to, uh, to a person uh, uh, irrelevant of, uh, uh, you know, uh, male, female, young, talent, uh, you know, experience, uh, sound experience people. Um, we're also making sure that we're applying that in the way that we select our suppliers. Yeah. And, and you know, there is something which is very important in sustainability, which is very important around the ESG uh, discussion is that if you mean what you say, it means that at the point in time, you have to make a choice in your suppliers. And yes. for us, the choice has been to explain to all of our suppliers, to all of our customers, to all of our, you know, stakeholders who we are and how we do those things. Um, and making a choice means that we need to, to cut at times. So uh, there are some suppliers that are still our suppliers because they have embraced our, uh, our goals, our ambition. Um, and that's the reason why you've heard that uh, our ambition in Schneider Electric is to have, you know, in 2050, um, the entire, you know, uh, supply chain uh, to be absolutely uh, uh, carbon zero. So... So yeah. amazing and, and so important, too, as businesses are really trying to understand what their scope three emissions are. They need to understand who their suppliers are and, and, and uh, how they're protecting and getting more green uh, for our, in, our environment. So if you could give one piece of advice for the companies out there who are on their journey towards digital transformation, what would it be and why? Well, I, I, I would say um, the... The very key element is um, don't look back. Um, there is only one thing that we're sure of about the future is that we don't know. Um, the only thing that we're aware of, and that's what I was sharing this morning again, we're saying that we are actually that generation talking about climate change who is actually witnessing um, uh, what's happening and having the opportunity to change that. Yeah. Um, the digital transformation is absolutely needed in the sense that, you know, you cannot leave with managing hardware or getting the hardware to end up managing what you're doing because you cannot react on time. You need to be capable of managing remotely. You need to be under capable to understand way in advance before anything occurs. You need to be on a predictive uh, capability. And, and again, I think that if you mix, you know, the digital transformation, which is inevitable. You heard me talk about, you know, the COVID-19. Some people are saying that it's, you know, what fuels, you know, some kind of recession or the trend that says that, you know, uh, density in urbanization and so on and so forth has a direct impact on, on the climate change because th th that has not changed but as, as a priority. But the reality is that, you know, if you go with a recession, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah. People are going to digitalize to be capable to survive to that earthquake. So at the end of the day, your digital transformation is inevitable. 
every data you're going to create to manage your business tomorrow and not to be you know, managed by that business has to be managed into our data centers. And our data centers have to be absolutely green because you know the pledge to the climate pledge and the climate change is something that we do not negotiate. So you could see that there is a very virtuous circle that we have embarked with our stakeholders, with our customers. Um, so the one message would be, don't change. I mean, or, or don't leave space for, uh, for doubt. That's the only way forward. Mm. Make, it do, make it right, so make it green, and make it with us. Yes, yeah, think forward. Think forward, as my husband likes to say. Think green, think Schneider. Exactly. All right, so where can our viewers go to learn more? Schneiderelectric.com? Twice. <laughs> One for you. One for whoever else. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Thank you so much for your time Thank here you very today. Much. Thank and you. For your wonderful keynote, inspiring us all. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV Live. And as always, stay safe, stay green, and happy networking.